if you'd care to see them. Tesman and I visited the Tyrol on our way home. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, these mountains, Mr. Lerborg, that's the Ortler group. You see, Tesman has written very carefully underneath the Ortler group near Meron. Yes, that used to be my name when we first knew each other. <laughs> and from now on, for the rest of my life, I must teach myself never to say Hedda Gabler. Yes, you must. You'd better start getting into practice. The sooner, the better. Hedda Gabler married. And to George Tesman. <laughs> yes, well, that's life. Hedda. How could you throw yourself away like that? Oh, stop it. <laughs> and this, Mr. Loveborg, is the view from the Ampezzo Valley. Look at those mountains. What did you say those curious mountains were called, dear? Mm, let me let her go. Oh, those are the Dolomites. Mm. <laughs> of course. Those are the Dolomites, mm. Mr. Loveborg. I just came in, Heather, to see uh, if, if uh, we could bring some punch in here. No, well, uh, a glass for you, anyway. Right? Well, thank you. Yes. And a biscuit or two, perhaps. Uh, you wouldn't like a cigarette? No. Nope. Right? <laughs> Answer me, Hedda. How could you do it? If you go on calling me Hedda, I won't talk to you anymore. Mayn't I even when we're alone? No, you can think it, but you mustn't say it. Oh, I see. Because you love George Tesman? Love. Don't be funny. You don't love him? I don't want to be unfaithful to him. That's not what I want. Hedda, tell me one thing. Uh, oh, here we are. Here come the refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you ask the servant to bring it in? No, oh, I like waiting on you, Hedda. <laughs> but you fill two glasses. Mr. Lerfolk doesn't want to drink. But Mrs. Elfstead will be here soon. Of course, Mrs. Elfstead. Oh, had you forgotten her? Well, <laughs> we're so absorbed in these photographs. Do you remember that little village? Mm. Oh, that's that one down on the Brenner Castle. We, we spent the night there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and met all those amusing people. Uh, yes, it was there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, if only we could have had you with us too, all right. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> Tell me one thing, Hedda. Yes. Didn't you love me either? Not just the little one. Well, now, I wonder. No, I think we were just good friends. You certainly poured your heart out to me. You begged me to. Looking back on it, there was something beautiful and fascinating and brave about the way we told each other everything. That secret friendship that no one else knew about. Oh, yes, Hedda. Do you remember? Do you remember how I used to come to your father's house in the afternoon? And the general sat in the window and read his newspaper. His back to us. <laughs> and we sat on the sofa in the corner. Always reading the same illustrated magazine. We hadn't any photograph album. Oh, yes, Hedda. Do you know, I regarded you as a kind of confessor. I told you things about myself which no one else knew about. Then. Those days, nights of drinking. And... Oh, Hedda. What power did you have to make me confess such thing? Power? You think I had some power over you? Yes. I don't know how else to explain it. All those oblique questions you asked me. You knew what they meant. Yes. But that you could sit there and ask me such questions. So unashamedly. I thought you said they were oblique. Yes, but you asked them so unashamedly. Question me about that sort of thing. You answered willingly enough. Yeah. Yes, that's what I. What I can't understand looking back on it. But tell me, Ed, what, what you felt for me then wasn't that love? When you you made you asked me those questions and made me confess my sins to you, wasn't that because you wanted to wash me clean? No, not exactly. 
Why did you do it, then? Do you find it so incredible that a young girl, given the chance to do so in secret, should want to be allowed a glimpse into a forbidden world of whose existence she's supposed to be ignorant? I thought that was it. One reason, one reason, I think. You didn't love me, then. It's just knowledge you wanted. But if that was so, why did you break it off? That was your fault. It was you who put an end to it? Yes. When I realized that our friendship was threatening to develop into some, something else. Shame on you, Islet Lovebork. How could you abuse the trust of your dearest friend? Oh, Edda, why didn't you do it? Why didn't you shoot me dead as you threatened to? I was afraid of the scandal. Yes, said I. I'm a coward at heart. A dreadful coward. Luckily for you. Well, now you've found consolation with the Elfsteads. I know what Taya's been telling you. I dare say you told her about us. Not a word. She's too silly to understand that kind of thing. Silly? She's silly about that kind of thing. And I'm a coward. But let me tell you something. Something you don't know. Yes? My failure to shoot you wasn't my worst act of cowardice that evening. Oh, Edda. Edda Garbler. Now I see what was behind those questions. Eh? Wasn't knowledge you wanted. Don't you delude yourself?